Global liquidity explosion. Explain yeah, that sounds it. abstract, doesn't it? It does. Liquidity is a weird thing because when I first learned about it, I couldn't get my arms around. What, what is water? What is it? Liquidity refers to money. And there are different kinds of money in the world. When you buy a farm, you've invested in the farm, and it's a long-term investment. And it's going to take a long time. And if you decide you're going to sell it, you can't sell it in five minutes. It's not like going to the bank and pulling your money out. You put it on the market, no one wants it, you change price, you negotiate, six months later you sold your farm. That's not liquid. So liquidity refers to how quickly your money can move. It turns out that the world has a flow of money every night. And that's called global liquidity. How much of that money is there? When we had the crash in 2008, the real reason, in my opinion, that we had the crash wasn't what everybody said here. I mean, I'm sure everybody in this room had a, a sure understanding that the crash was coming because real estate prices were going up and they thought they would crash. And that was true. But that was just a symptom. That wasn't really the problem. That was one bubble, you've heard the word bubble, that was one bubble out of a million bubbles that occurred in different assets all over the world because of what? Because there was too much hot money, too much liquidity in the world. And this is something which you don't have to trust me on, you can go back and check this out. But in one five year period during that time, five years running up to 2008, world liquidity doubled from 36 to $72 trillion. So all the money that had been hot money, investor money, until that time, it doubled in five years. Well, imagine the pressure on every young 23-year-old stockbroker, everybody else, trying to figure out, where do I put the money tonight? I've got these clients, I've got people with money, they want to invest it, where is it going to go? And so all the prices went up, right? All real estate prices went up around the world. Prices for everything went up around the world. It wasn't the fault of the realtors, it was the problem that we had too much hot money. I wish that the central bankers saw this problem the way I'm describing it to you, but I don't think they see it that way. And so what we find are the central bankers and the legislatures around the world after the crash trying to solve banker honesty problems, that's fine. Trying to solve um, real estate lending problems, okay, that's fine. Trying to solve um, you know, other things with credit cards. These are all symptoms. None of them, as far as I can tell, are addressing this question of global liquidity. And the much deeper question of where does it come from? So there isn't a good metric worldwide. There, no one talks about it. Uh, there is no agency worldwide who would say, if you did talk about it, I'll change it. I'll fix it for you. There's, there's no one to write to in the morning and say, I want to have this fixed. It's a really, really nasty problem. And as far as I can tell, it's growing again. So it's worrying. It's like, what, you know, what would you do about that if you knew about it? I don't know. But the first thing you do, you talk about it like we're talking about it right now. So I try to talk about it a lot. And one hopes that central bankers are getting this message somehow that it's a liquidity issue. It's not the local problem with real estate or whatever. This is the problem that we really have to take care of. And it, by the way, it ties in, when you ask where does it come from, it ties back into that question of currency wars. Because if you degrade your currencies, you get more and more and more and more money. So whether you're printing money, you know, print, 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 or whether you're kind of making it cheaper, all that stuff eventually makes more hot money out there. And that's exactly what all these countries have done in the wake of having the worst crash in history. So not encouraging in terms of their education. So where's that solution in this whole thing? Pardon? Where's the solution in this whole thing? The solution, yeah, I told, did I cover that already? Talk to bankers. No, I mean, really, we have to talk about this. We have to get the word out that this is the problem. It's not the problem of local problems or real estate. It's the problem of hot money, of, of liquidity. Literally talking like this, I think publishing an SNS, which we do all the time, uh, getting the word out into larger and larger groups of people who are pretty smart so they can complain about this to each other and get it into the press. And eventually, central bankers, who aren't stupid people, will start looking at this instead of just looking at the local problems. 